Welcome back to Resident Evil 3 for the PlayStation 4. Hi my friends, welcome back. So we've just arrived at this facility here and there is definitely someone up there. That's Nikolai, isn't it? Okay, he's on the phone to someone or contemplating life, something I don't really know. Explosive A. Very, very tempting to put that in the box, but for now I guess uh, we might just see how we get on. Not taking any chances at the moment. The game has just thrown hunters at us. We've had liquors. We've had pretty much everything. This game has not held back on anything at all. Anything over here? Nope, nothing over there. Doesn't seem to be that I can get back up the stairs either, so I actually don't see how I can get back at the moment. What the heck is that thing? It looks like a jacket. <laughs> it's all like pale white and everything. Okay, alright. Let's take this, uh... Up. Oh, come on. I respect your tenacity. Oh, Nikolai. Our games end here. <clears throat> you think this is over? Are you serious right now? Ugh, oh, damn it. What is this? Whoa, what the hell was that thing? What the actual hell is going on? Oh. You are really, really fugly. Why did you take four shotgun rounds? Oh my god. So, is, is that some kind of like new zombie that the game's throwing us? Like the naked zombies out of the originals? That looks like it to me. So I need to collect three fuses. Well, here's one straight off the bat. We have three there. I'm going to need item slots for this as well. I'm wondering whether I should have uh, made an exception, really. I'm not going to take these handgun bullets, actually. I'm going to leave those. I've already got far too much of them, and I'm not really using them against the zombies because they're not really dropping at the moment. Okay. Oh, my God. What the hell? Ah! What the heck? Oh my god, a dog? Seriously? I haven't had a... We haven't had dogs in a long, long, long time. Ah, they're all moving around the screen so fast I can barely see anything. Stay still, Fido. Oh. Okay, I don't see it anywhere now. Okay, it's definitely dead. Where the heck did they come from? Did they fall down from above or something? Okay, more handgun bullets. Not really too worried about that. Yeah, I freed up an item slot with that uh, shotgun round, as predicted. <laughs> Figures I was going to need uh, loads of ammunition. Okay, so I can't raise this one up. Oh my god. Is he blowing the place up or something? Where the hell did you come from? Alright. No, what is this? I can squeeze through here. I see a red herb on the floor there. I don't know whether I want to pick that up or not actually though. If I had a green herb or one of those was a single then maybe I might have done but I don't want to do that. Okay, let's try and push this one down. See what this does for us. Is that going to move this one down for us? Yeah, it is. All right. Okay, do I want to take this up, though? I'm kind of curious about where the stairs lead. Let's have a look. Let's see where these stairs lead, first of all. Okay, hang on a sec. So if I bring that up, I can gain access to that walkway... And whatever's over there, and I guess whatever's in this segment here, which just looks like handgun rounds, so I'm okay to leave that for the time being, but I um, guess I'll go in here. I don't really want to be in here. Oh my god. What is with you? 
It's a good thing I've got loads of shotgun rounds because I'm definitely proving to need them right now. Employee memo. Okay, so we've got a 45 male, a 32 female, and we've got discarded patients here as well, uninfected patients. Discarded six male specimens, nine female specimens. Preemptively dispose of any over 30 years of age. Alright, okay. You guys definitely down? Yeah, you're not thinking about getting back up? I mean, the shotgun is pretty bad, I also will admit. Oh, speaking of the <laughs> speaking of the devil, there we go. Is that room clear? Yeah, this room's clear. And wait, is that going... I think that might be going back into the, uh, the save room. Yeah, it is. Alright. Very, very good time for me to start getting rid of this then. Yeah, I'll keep what I've got actually for now. I'm okay with that. Alright. So we have a door here. What about this one then? Where does this go? That looks like a fuse to me. Guess we'll try that one out. Can't see any other way of actually getting here either. More gunpowder? Yeah, maybe. Oh my god, what? Ah! Ah! No, 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 no. Okay, well, I'm all out of explosive rounds now. Thanks for that, Mr. Hunter. Another hunter. I thought we were done with those things already. You're kidding me. Oh my god. That had better be the last one because I'm going to have to beat these guys with my handgun and shotgun and I don't know how effective that's actually going to be. I really don't like that pale zombie there though. Four shotgun rounds to the face, mind you. And they don't seem to want to stay down even then. Okay, so I didn't actually go this way, did I? Is there anything over here? There's a case over here, apparently. And we have a shell holder for the shotgun. Ooh. M3 shotgun upgrade? Yeah, okay. Not bad. That was kind of randomly placed. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess I'll go up now. See what was up the, uh, the top section. Hopefully the last fuse... I'm kind of feeling like I've done this in a pretty smooth manner. That's the door. Oh, okay, so <laughs> either way, I could have got to that door, apparently. Um, I'm guessing maybe operate this one next. Because I couldn't operate that elevator down there from there because there was no switch actually on that elevator. Which is really strange, actually, because normally all of them you can raise yourself. What is, what is this? A high-grade gunpowder. Ah, oh, why are you giving me so much good stuff, game? Why are you doing that to me? I can make more magnum rounds with that. Doesn't seem to actually be anything down here. Apart from a ton of zombies. Okay. Oh, wow. This gun is broken. It's so quick as well now. I don't know if I actually got you or not, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, what is this? Damn, that is tempting. Two gunpowders, but a high-grade gunpowder there. I will take that and make some more magnum ammo, and... I really... Ugh. Sorry, gunpowder, and the other gunpowders. I'm going to have to leave you all behind. Oh my god, my shadow even scared me just then. I thought there was actually something there. What is that? Why are you down here? Um. <laughs> okay. Shit. I am seriously in a lot of trouble here. I don't know if I can take this thing down without something of a lot more substantial. Is it down? Because I'm taking a run for it if it's not. Wait, is there anything in that room actually thinking about it? Yeah, he's definitely down, but he ate up like nearly 12 shotgun shells. Ah, uh, green herb. Yeah, I could take that, I suppose. 
Okay, wait, wait. That is the last fuse over there. I couldn't actually see that for a second. I only mean, missed it completely. There we go. Last fuse. All right, here goes. All right. So I guess now go back to where I started, put the three fuses in, and proceed on and try and find out where the hell Nikolai went. So I can't activate this on its own, and that's annoying because I just I need to be over there, don't I? Yeah. Okay. Guess I'll just go the same way back that I went before. I'll lower this down so it doesn't get in my way. I'm just going to basically retrace my steps, and that should just about do everything for me, I would have thought. One would have thought anyway. I am seriously going to unload this shotgun into Nikolai's face when I am done. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think I came down from up here. This place is like a mini maze. Uh, yeah, this this feels right. Yep, this is definitely right. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Oh, all right. Yeah, you can keep that. I don't want what you're selling. You can keep all of that. Ah, oh, damn. I don't want no kisses from you. Did he hurt me? Yeah, he did. He hurt me. Alright. Maybe I don't need to fight them. Hopefully they don't get in my way. I'll just try and press this button and leave, I suppose. Okay, yeah, they're just going to wander around like zombies from The Last of Us. Alright, sweet. Where the heck are we now? There's an item box and a typewriter. That's really, really good to see, actually. Apparently there is something else in here as well. Ooh, wait, what is this? An extended mag. Okay, yep. Yep. Where's my trusty magnum? I'm giving that a big kiss on the head. I've got so much ammo for the, uh, the magnum now as well. I'm kind of wondering whether I should just keep it on me. I don't really know at this point. I don't know what to expect, I don't know what to do, I don't know anything. But I guess maybe I will put the flame rounds inside the uh, grenade launcher. Uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Got two healing items, a magnum now. <laughs> Full inventory, basically. How many magnum allies can I hold at a time? Definitely at least eight. Uh, mix with B to make flame rounds. Yeah, screw it, we'll do that. That sounds like a very, very good idea. And I can go ahead and unload on anything that falls in my path. Area's clear, and we have a magnum on us now as well. Might be a little bit overkill, but um, nevertheless, why the heck not? It's a magnum, and if I don't use it and I end up completing the game without it, I mean, if that happens, I'll be very, very surprised, but either way... It's good to have a magnum. So can we interact with you? No, we can't. For some reason. <laughs> the zombies are still dotting about down there. Why is this screen lit up? Okay, unfinished activity log. Infiltrated RC. Disturbances are sporadic. Commencing mission. Observed five RPD officers engaging a pack 20 strong. Officers annihilated in 20 minutes. What? This is all logged. The whole thing has been logged. From basically the start. Oh boy. Joe. Tyrell. I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Oh. They'll call off the strike if, and this is one big ass if, we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. 
Right, it's good that we've got Tyrell with us. I'm not going to get attached to him because I know what happens to characters that you get attached to in this game. They all seem to just disappear or go off on their own path and they don't stay with you for very long. It's very comforting having someone working with you though. You don't feel like you're exploring like an abandoned mansion sure you don't need in the stop? first game's case stop. or an abandoned police station in the second game's case. Or in this case okay. just some horrendous facility that we've never even seen before. It was nice to have some company. <gasps> oh no! Where did you come from? Keep going. We're almost there. Oh no. Tyrell, man. Why does this always happen? This is exactly what I said. You get attached to someone and they die on you. Shit. I'm kind of glad that there hasn't been any cues for using this game. Wow, that thing came down fast. Stay away from that if you're working in this facility in general. I wonder how many people have been crushed by that door. That came down super quick. Okay, so now we need to get the vaccine. Alright, so this is starting to feel like a whole laboratory setting. I was looking at this zombie's head and then I see something else down there. Oh my god, yeah, look at that. There's at least two more of those naked looking zombies within that room. Are you serious right now? Okay, he's definitely not, not getting up. Okay, it seems to be that the rooms that are green, I can enter. And this is most certainly a green room. Safe. The objectives of this T-Virus research facility differ from those of Umbrella's main nest facility. Here we focus on real-world use cases which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the need for the T-Virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. All right. Yep. Okay. It is a great honor to be part of the finest research organization in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge new and revolutionary technologies. The green herb in here apparently as well. Okay, where is that at? And we have some high grade gunpowder again. So that's more magnum rounds should I ever need them. Come to think of it actually, maybe the magnum rounds are really good against those naked zombies. That is one thing that I haven't actually tried yet. Can I make any more? Yes, I can. I can make some more. Ooh. Um, hmm. Okay, I have 20 magnum bullets now. <laughs> that ain't bad. Uh, we can go ahead and make another mixed. I'm going to go ahead and put that away, though, because we have two practically full hills here. And I'm going to try and be careful for the most part. Okay, I think we're probably going to go ahead and save here. I might continue playing for a little bit more. Just because I'm so tempted to use the, uh, the Magnum on Nikolai. So there's only one other path that we can go down. Now we can go this way, of course. These corridors are far too tight for my liking. Oh, oh you are alive. Wow. Just making sure nothing's sneaking up on my right. Wow. She took a long, long time to go down. What were you sitting by? Some kind of other room that I don't know if I can gain access to yet. Nope, doesn't look like it, but you're gonna get up. Critical throat shot. <laughs> Shame it weren't the head, actually. That would have saved me a ton of ammunition, probably. I'm really coming to uh, like this burst model, though. 
it's just more convenient because sometimes um, you wish you could fire very quick compared to the other gun that we had. Like particularly on the face, you might get a critical headshot. The pay was generous, the benefits were good. Most importantly, they promised me I'd be contributing to state-of-the-art medical tech research. For a university teacher stuck working in nowhere, America, it was a golden opportunity, like winning the lottery. So I went for it. I made the pitch to my family and we agreed to move here to Raccoon City. Well, hindsight is 2020 because this lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric exper experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. It's messed up. The world needs to know, but every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Casey and immediately chicken out. Umbrella owns this town. There was this guy they caught trying to smuggle out company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the betas. Fed him. I saw the whole thing. I got my wife and daughter into this. I just need to do my job, do as I'm told for their sake. But let this be a testament that I do have a conscience and that I have learned my lesson. Ooh. Okay, so is that is that it down here? Just a file on this guy? Seems to be that way. Yeah, not much else down there apparently. Anything over here apart from that corpse? I think this one isn't going to get up. You can kind of tell because it doesn't look like one of the uh, generic zombies that they're using. It's so sad, but you get used to it after a while. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and reload our shotgun just for now. Okay. Uh, anybody home? see some legs, so I'm gathering that's probably a yes. see multiple legs. Right, that's definitely not interactable, and neither are you. In fact, we're going through the corpses onto the objects behind it, so they may never even get up at all. Is that another high grade? Oh my god, more high grade? No, you're definitely not going to get up either. This room is, uh, is okay at the moment. That's not to say they won't get up later on, they probably will. But right now, uh, we seem to be safe. Okay. To begin vaccine synthesis, place the materials in the chamber. I don't have any of that synthesis? stuff yet. I have to make it myself. <sighs> Essay on vaccine synthesis. The most efficiency, uh, yeah. To most efficiently synthesize a vaccine, both an antigen and an adjuvant are required. Okay, so I'm going for both of those items in particular then, I'm assuming. Apparently there's something else in this room, but I, I don't seem to see it anywhere. You guys haven't got anything on you? No, it doesn't really seem like it, unless, wait. Override key successfully generated. Oh, okay. That might have something to do with it. What is that? Some kind of drive? Override key removed. Override key. Some kind of flash drive. All right. I'll take that. I guess the only way back now is to one of the previous doors. Because I did see a, uh, a red panel door. So I guess maybe I could um, maybe unlock that. Because I can't think of anywhere else to go now. But I think before I use the flash drive on this door, it's got to be, right? Override complete. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess I'm going to leave that for now. I'm probably going to go ahead and save it and call it an episode, guys. And <laughs> there's like a few naked zombies in that room from what I've just seen. So, yeah, that's going to be a heck of a lot of fun. Um, I guess for now, I'll probably just deposit a couple of items here. Probably go ahead and combine that with that and use up my, my last shotgun round later on down the road. Um, stock up on more handgun ammo. And I guess I'll give the Magnum a go in the next episode and see how that fares up against these creatures. So I hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Alright guys, so thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Take care.